Hello and welcome to another video from No Nonsense Gaming. In this video we are going to show the locations of all 8 memory stones in Elden Ring. These are key items which increase spell memory slots of the Tarnished. We will also show you how to gain maximum spell slots which is 12. Without wasting any more of your time let's get straight to the point. The player should start the search for the first memory stone from Castle Morn Rampart side of Grace in Weeping Peninsula. The memory stone is found in a chest at the top of Ordes' rise, and to reach there you have to jump at the airstream near this side of Grace. A puzzle needed to be solved for removing the seal blocking the door. Interact with the imp statue at the front of the rise, and it will ask you to seek three wise beats. Wise beasts here seems to be turtles on their blue ghostly form. The first one as you can see will appear just behind the statue. The second will be hidden near the tall grass on the left side of imp statue. The third one is really tricky to find since it's invisible. But don't worry we will help you. It is found on the middle of the shallow lake which can be found behind the rise. The door seal will be unlocked and you can collect the item from the chest which can be found at the top of the rise. The second memory stone can be found at the converted tower on the south of Revenger's Shack, in western Lyrnia of the Lakes. You can access its second level by climbing the decayed back part of the building through the broken walls on a horseback. The item can be looted from the chest on the top. The next one is found in a chest at the top floor of Testu's Rise at Sorcerer's Isle in northern Lyrnia of the Lakes. Again the player will be asked to seek three wise beasts in order to break the door seal. The first one will be on open field towards the left of the Rise. The second one can be found hanging on a tree just behind the rise. Use a bow or range spell to take it down. The third one is to the southeast of the tower on a ledge halfway down the cliff. Again use a bow or ranged spell to avoid the trip down the ledge. Once all three tortoises are killed, players will get a notification that the seal has been broken. Go back to the now open door and climb up the ladder and you could loot the memory stone from the chest at the top. The next one can be purchased from Twin Maiden Husks at the round table hold. It will cost the players 3000 runes. This is the only memory stone which can be purchased from a merchant. Another one is found in the chest at the top floor of Lin's Rise in Eastern Caelid. The nearest grace have the same name of the tower which is Lin's Rise. The entrance to Lin's Rise is sealed by a spell barrier, and the only way in is through a balcony in the south side of the tower. Look for a spirit spring on the right side of Rise and summon Torrent. Step inside the spring, face the balcony and then jump. You can control your trajectory slightly so you can land on the roof and simply drop down into the balcony. Once inside, the path is pretty much straightforward. Head up the lift and make your way up to the top of the tower to find a chest containing a memory stone. If you are new to this channel please like the video and subscribe the channel and keep all notifications on to stay updated on all our future Elden Ring content. The next one is dropped after killing the Red Wolf of Radagon mini boss at Raya Lucaria Academy. The fight occurs at Debate Parlor and players won't miss this one since this is the only way to go to reach the fight with Shardbearer Arenalyn. The next memory stone can be found at Selvius Rise at Three Sisters region of the map. Runny's Rise is the nearest site of Grace. You have to agree to serve Runny to get the access inside the Selvius Rise. 
She will ask you to talk to Silvius, and upon interaction with his ghostly form, he will ask you to visit his rise sometimes. Interact with Renny again, then exit the Renny's rise, and follow the path, as shown in video, to reach Silvius' rise. There will be a Glintstone Dragon Agila on the way, which you could totally ignore by running through his leg on your torrent's back. And the Memory Stone will be found inside the chest at the top floor of the rise. Climb the ladder beside Silvius to reach there. The next memory stone can be found in the northeast of Hermit Village in Mount Jelmir. Primeval Sorcerer Aza is the nearest site of Grace. The item is dropped by Demi-Human Queen Maggie, an optional boss who can be found sitting beside the site of Grace. Every class in Elden Ring will start with two spell slots by default and you could get eight memory stones from lands between and make it a total of ten spell memory slots. And you could increase the spell memory slots by equipping the legendary talisman, Moon of Noxtella. Equipping Moon of Noxtella at your talisman pouch will increase two more spaces to what you already have, which is ten plus another two, a total of twelve slots for spells. Noxtella Eternal City is the area in which you could find the Moon of Noxtella Talisman. From the site of Grace follow the path as shown in video to avoid confusion. The only way to get access to Noxtella region in Elden Ring is by doing Renny's questline. If you are new to this channel please like the video and subscribe the channel and keep all notifications on to stay updated on all our future Elden Ring content. The chest which contains the talisman is found at the highest room of the city, guarded by two Mimic Tears and a Nox Warrior. Defeat the enemies and the item can be looted from the chest beneath the massive throne behind them.